All right, everybody. So we'll be going, we'll be going over a gold trade really quick. So basically, you see the gold market is um, like other markets is falling. You see that it's weak. It's it's weaker even. Um, it's weaker than the indexes. So what happened was um, as of yesterday, I was looking at this breakdown area. It says BD over here. So the idea is that it's going to pull back, test, and take out the low. So that's straightforward. So <clears throat> as I explained to everyone yesterday, you use the Renko chart. Um, one of its strengths is its clarity of trend, but it's a, there's another strength in it also. It shows you uh, levels in a clear way, um, what you call, I think folks call it demand and supply zones or something like that. It shows that in a very, very clear way because it's just blocks like green, red, red, red. So you know the red came from this area and all of that. So it's very straightforward and it shows the breakdowns also. And of course it shows the volume, like heavy volume at that area. You see a big red and big red. Right here, I get tested, tested, and so you see, you see that. So basically, it's really straightforward for trend and um, the other thing, um, levels. Trend and levels. Uh, Renko chart is quite nice. But anyway, so <clears throat> so yesterday the, there was a breakdown here, where it says BD means breakdown. So. I know that the chances are because there's a breakdown it's not just a breakdown but a breakdown on volume the expansion the biggest in the last five bricks was here so chances are it's going to get tested and rejected all right with trend all right so I understand that the trend is down the level and all of that is very clear so now I want to zoom in and see where the price selling is. So for that, you use your profile and you see it's around this area. All right, again, I have the trend. I have the level or the brick. I have the trend. I have the brick with the high volume breakdown, which is also the zone or selling zone. And now, I use the profile to basically hone in on where the sellers really pressed to get the exact level within the brick. The brick tells me there's a lot of volume, but I don't know where in the brick. The level in the brick that has the most volume is then identified using the profile. Okay, so I've trend on my side, I got the level, the break, all of that, and now I'm waiting for a test. So the test is going to do one of two things. Typically, it goes to the, the POC or, or just about around it, like near the LVN low volume node, either here or the other side, or basically it's just gonna shimmy around the, this, um, this POC, right? All right, then I'm looking at the tape reading chart. I see it's on cells. That's all I need to know. This is the higher time frame or higher point and figure. It's just telling the same information that the uh, that the Renko is saying. It's just saying sell, 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 sell. But in addition, I can I can kind of like uh, again like see the the exact um, amounts and all of that, which is important info. This is the area, right? So after that. I'm, I'm basically, I know the location and I'm looking for rejections. So now what happens is, uh, you know, Mark is going to that area, all right? As it's going to that area, I want to see some type of ending action typically. All right, ending action from a left-hand side perspective usually is a climactic behavior or a shortening of the thrust 
It's usually one of those two, climactic behavior or shortening of the thrust. All right, now I don't know which one of these is the true climax. All I know is that the volume is high. So all this is telling me where it says climax, climax, is that the, the volumes are high and it can continue to go higher. It can continue to go higher, right? But I know that since it's in a downtrend, since it's at a level, that these climaxes are minor climaxes that will terminate the move, all right? So you can see, and it's very uh, interesting how they do this. They do this, uh, like they'll use the session volume at the open to terminate the move. So here, you have some climactic behavior, and here you have climactic behavior. Does that mean you just take it short? No, that does not mean you take it short. All right, because it can go again and have more of high volume and, you know, just keep on going. After that, what happens is this is a really interesting uh, bullshit that, that they did. Over here, you have a spike low and a spike high. A wick low and a wick high. You see that? Uh, taking out the climax, a wick high and wick low. All right. So now when they wick high and wick low, what most traders will do is they will use the wick as a stop. Meaning they think, oh yeah, yeah, you know, it's gonna reverse here. I have an area I can risk off of, I'll sell above here and all this red bar, take the short, wrong. When, when it's that clear, it typically means it's gonna get tested or it's gonna get wiped. If it's that clear, and I'll show you examples in crude or whatever, the it, they're gonna get it's gonna get taken out meaning it's representing the overnight high at this time it was representing overnight high so what that means is on the open very likely it's gonna get whipped it's gonna get whipped so uh, all right so it goes up I have climactic behavior I have an up thrust above that climax you call it a secondary test if you like and now I have the shakeout that takes out the overnight high, all right? And it's done around the open. So once they're done with that, they break right there. So given these confluences, by the way, uh, one other thing that I've noticed is, um, you see these multiple bars, one, two, three, four, five, the overlapping bars? That's very important because that was minor distribution. That was minor distribution when you see one, two, three, four, five, and this is the beginning of the markdown. That's your minor, but it's minor distribution or minor cause. I don't know. It's just, you know, it's like that. That's how it looks. They, they, they go sideways like that. And then they have a markdown about break from that area. From that area now, I'll show you how to do this. You just identify where's their selling point because this is cause. I know you may not think of it like that, but it is. This is distributive action right here. And it's proven by this red bar down. This is distribute, distributive action proven by this bar down. So after that, you just uh, do that. See where they took the position. And then the market tests that area like perfectly. Test that area, rejects off that area. And bye-bye. It's game over. All right, so this is going over the gold trade, how to combine the level with the trend, with the test of the breakdown, then going in the intraday, looking for ending action, looking for that distribu distributive behavior with the confirmation of the markdown bar and a test right into that area for, for long.
lower prices. All right. Now, if you're already in that trade, it may go lower. I don't know, you know, but it's up to you. I don't really know how, how much lower it's going to go. I'm out. Um, takes this area out. Game over. All right, folks. That's all. Take care. Bye.